All right. So this is Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Do you want to know how to post effectively on social media so you can promote your home base business? There's a lot of network marketers that are pretty good at this, but there's a whole lot more that just aren't. I mean, we are getting better as a group, but, you know, we came to a point where, you know, you could tell someone was in network marketing or you could even tell a company they were in because they changed their profile picture to that logo of the company and their cover and you know all they were posting was all the products all they were posting was how their company was the best and you know all this stuff and as you know or if you don't know yet you would find out if you try to do that that does not work and so what are you supposed to do like how are you supposed to promote your home-based business and by the way this works whether you're promoting any business all right if you own a sandwich shop and you're promoting it this way or if you're a realtor or a mechanic or a plumber or whatever the case may be this will really help you if you want to build your business using social media um, you've really got to really talk about these uh, one two three four things all right these four things and i'll tell you first of all it's not saying my company or my product or my service is the best all right. It's not about that. It's not about whether your product is a breakthrough product. All right. You know, there's a lot of company hype that um, your company sends you. And it, it's it's really designed to keep the reps in check. It's really designed to keep the reps motivated. But ultimately, when someone's buying something, they don't care if it's breakthrough. All they care about is whether it works or not. They care three, three things. Will it work for me? Oh, it doesn't work. Will it work for me? And how much does it cost? Those are the three things, right? And if those thing, three things are in check, um, they're probably going to buy, all right? And that's it, all right? It, it's not going to change their mind that the, the product is made, you know, from some ingredient that's from the African rainforest or, you know, that it's this latest technology. You know, if the, those three things, you know, does it work? Will it work for me? That's really important. And how much does it cost? If those three things are in check, then they're probably going to buy. If not, then you just got to move on to the next person. Um, also, you know, promoting your business is not about posting selfies with your product or anything like that. And it's not about, you know, posting motivational quotes and things like that. And so keep those things out. What you should do is keep this in mind. First of all, you got to realize is that your post, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, so whatever social media you're using, Instagram, it's got to attract someone. And notice I said not everyone, someone. One and it has to be you must be trying to attract someone that you can help. And by the way, if you try to attract everyone, you're gonna kind of look like you're a jack of all trades, you know, and you're not gonna look like a specialist. And you want to look like you are a specialist, you are an expert at helping people lose weight, you're an expert at helping people um, lose the wrinkles, you're an expert at giving people energy if it's an energy drink, you're an expert at X, Y, and Z. If you say, you know what, my product will help you lose weight, will lose wrinkles, will help you do X, Y, and Z, what happens is you, you look like someone that you're just not a specialist, all right? And so y you look like you, you're not effective at anything, let alone one thing. And so if you try and attract everyone, you will attract nobody. Now, I want you to be really clear on this is because if your product can do a number of different things, I want you to realize is that your market is like uh, a target, right? And so just think of a target when you're throwing darts at a, at a dartboard. Um, just think of that target. Your, your best client would be the one that you're looking for would be the bullseye, right? Someone, for example, that is diabetic and wants to lose weight, all right? But let's say your product will also help with gut health, right? Just realize is that that's all part of that target in the market. That's not part of the bullseye. So there's going to be some people, they may hear what you have to say. They may not be diabetic and need to lose weight, but they may, um, they may fall into a category where you can still help them. They're not your target market, but you still will hit them, you know, because you don't always hit the bullseye. Sometimes you hit somewhere else on that target. And I hope that makes sense as I explain that. If you, if you would try to attract a certain type of individual, right? whether it's someone that wants to lose wrinkles or whether it's someone that wants to lose weight without giving up their favorite foods or whatever the case may be, you will attract other people that are kind of part of that market. So don't try to attract everyone. Just try to attract a certain type of individuals and those other fringe communities, those other fringe um, prospects, they will get kind of 
sucked into that. They will notice, all right? But if you try and attract all of them, no one will notice, all right? So number one, try to attract somebody. Number two, talk about the problem or the desire that you can help with. I actually learned this by listening to a podcast. And so the problem might be to fix wrinkles. The problem might be energy. The problem might be weight loss. The problem might be, you know, um, heart disease, diabetes, whatever the case may be. It may be, you know, um, you know, for a service, you know, it could be legal trouble. It could, whatever the case may be, state, you know, state the problem or desire you can help with. Number three is prove that you can help by helping out first. And I don't mean using a sample. All right. This thing about samples, I want you to realize is that if your company is telling you to hand out samples, just realize that they are just expanding their um, their business volume out. All right. They're thinking, well, you know what? Instead of the reps buying their monthly supply, let them buy their monthly supply and then some. And that's just going to increase their numbers. Right. Because they're handing it out for samples. You know, I don't I really don't give anyone samples. All right. Um, you know, because you just don't need to. It actually what happens is that it it, um, it devalues your product because you're giving it away for free. All right. So don't do that. And so the way you can prove by helping out first is through education. All right. If you let's say you're selling some sort of anti-aging cream. All right. And let's say it's 80 bucks a month, whatever the case may be, you know, on your posts, it could be a video post or a text post, whatever the case may be. Give them tips on how to lose wrinkles, right? I don't know what they could be. One, drink a lot of water. Number two, use moisturizer. Number three, use sunscreen. Those are three great tips, right? And uh, let's say you want to help market the um, your, your face cream. So you know what the moisturizer I use? If you want to know what that is, it's helped me out here. Some before and after pictures. And that's number four, extend an invitation. I call to action. If you want to find out more, give me a call. And so you can prove by helping by educating. First, you know, uh, you know, so tons of weight loss tips out there. Just pick three, Google them, pick three, talk about them. Say, you know what? This is what I use. This is the meal replacement shake I use. This is the supplement that I use. All right. Or, you know, if you want to learn, that's even better. Don't even talk about the one that you use. Offer up. Say, you know what? I use one that's, that's very good that I'm very happy with. If you want to know what it is, give me a call. All right. And so no one knows your company. No one knows your product. No one knows what it is, right? And so they've got to find out. If you kind of put your product name out there and all that fun stuff, what will happen is they'll just Google it. They'll just look it up and try and figure out what it is. And they may not even buy it from you, right? They may, you know, find some link somewhere and buy it from someone else. So it's always best, you know, just to, when you extend that invitation, be mysterious. Make them need to uh, call out to you you know, or uh, direct message you to find out more. So again, one of the four things, attract someone, a, a certain type of person, right? Attract them and then um, state the problem that you could help with, prove that you could help with that problem. That's number three. So number two is state the problem or desire you could help with. Number three is prove that you can help by helping them out first, not with a sample, but like through education. And number four, a call to action, extend an invitation and say, if you want X, Y, give me a call. If you want X, Y, Z, give me a direct message. If you want X, Y, Z, you know, um, comment below, say more info, whatever the case may be. That is the way to post effectively on social media. Now, if you don't have a lot of followers or if you don't have a lot of engagement in social media, you're just not going to get that much results from that. And so, but if you make a post like that, that is an appropriate post that if you wanted to, you could actually promote that, pay money to to promote that so that you can get more views on that. So I trust you got some great value out of this. I invite you to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Uh, it's a very easy way and a simple way for you to support my blog and to do so for free. And remember this, every day, multiple times a day, the universe sends us miracles. We only got to do two things about that. We got to recognize those miracles. And then my favorite part, we get to accept those miracles. All right, take care and create a great day.